Hi guys, welcome back. This is question 15. This is a very tricky one. Our answer is 221 micrograms. Now with this question, there are a lot of steps. So I've color coded it and I've broken it down for you. So hopefully you find this useful. So the best thing to do with type of question is to start with what we know. So what the question is asking us is that we need to calculate the dose in micrograms. Now, as we can see from that equation that's got the black box around it, that contains D, which stands for dose. So that is what we need to work out. Now, what do we know? We know that the CPSS is 1.7, that's the concentration. We know that F is equal to 1 because it's IV, that is the bioavailability. We know that T is equal to 24 because the dioxin is given once a day. So we have everything. I've put it into the equation. That is what we have. We need to calculate the dose, which is our main aim. But we also need to calculate the dioxin clearance. That is highlighted in blue. Now, there are different categories from the question you have that the patient has heart failure. So therefore, you have to use the correct equation, and that is the one highlighted in blue. So 0 0.053 times the creatinine clearance, and 0 0.02 times the ideal body weight. So we need to work out the ideal body weight, and then we need to work out the creatinine clearance, put it into the half dioxin clearance equation, and then put that into the equation that's got the black rectangle around it. And that is our final answer. So what we need to do is we need to calculate ideal body weight. Remember, you use ideal body weight, but if the actual body weight is lower, then that is what you use. That's also highlighted in the question in red. So ideal body weight for males, 50 kilograms plus 2.3 times 10. 10 because it's 10 inches over 5 foot as a patient's height is 5 foot 10. That'll give us 73 kilograms. Now for step two, I've put down 73 kilograms is more than 72 kilograms. That's important because we need to use 72 kilograms for the equation. So we have our weight. So our weight is 72 kilograms. We need to calculate the creatinine clearance. I have done a separate video on that. So I'll put a link in the description. I won't spend too much time on it. Calculate the creatinine clearance, guys. That will give you 74.935 milliliters per minute. So for the equation highlighted in blue, we have our creatinine clearance, we have our weight, all the information goes inside, and that will give us an answer of 5.4115 liters per hour. And that's it, we have everything we need. We put the digoxin clearance into the equation, we rearrange it, so it's 1.7 times the dioxin clearance times by 24. That'll give us the dose. Our answer then we get is 220.791. So our answer of 221 micrograms is, is correct because we've answered to micrograms and we've answered to the nearest whole number as well. So guys, a very tricky question. Please break it down. Please take it slowly. I've taken the time out to put it into little boxes and color code it so i hope this now becomes easy to understand thanks guys see you soon bye